Please. Give me a softer pairing. Oh my goodness, we got a Rina Jumabayev from Kazakhstan. Let's go, let's go. This guy knocked out Fabiano in the World Cup. This is a very strong player. Let's go Knight F3. B3 and Bishop B2. Okay, let's play the uh, standard stuff that I always play. Play C4. Fix the pawns. Maybe D5, maybe D6. Let's see what which line he plays. Let's castle and play D4. If D5 I take and play D4 still. I, I'm studying computer science. Yeah, let's go D4 and takes. I'm already getting a lead on the clock, which is pretty good to see. Let's play knight c3. Maybe d5 ideas. Maybe takes. Are NMs, from your experience, averagely weaker than CMs, Kusha? Um, the thing is that if a CM... It, if you compare CMs who got there by getting to 2200 FIDE, yes. Because 2200 FIDE is harder to harder to achieve compared to 2200 CF, uh, USCF. But there are some CMs which get their title like on, on their childhood. Like by winning an under 10 tournament and stuff like that. If you also consider that CMs in your, in your, in your comparison, then NMs might be stronger in general. But... If you compare CMs with 2200 FIDE, then they are definitely uh, definitely tougher most of the time. Of course, there are NMs who can just beat me very easily, but... Never mind. Let's focus. So, what should we do here? Should we close the center or should we keep the tension? I think it's a good idea to reroute the knight to C2. Really want to defend my pawn and also prevent the knight from coming to b4 here. Let's go knight c2 and take. Very complex position at the moment. The center is gonna get blown up here, maybe. Let's take. Mm, now I like my position actually. He's gonna get this IQP maybe here in the future. I just has to I just have to stop him from pushing. Maybe rook c1 can't be a bad idea. Yeah, I know, I know. There are there are some FMs like that. Maybe we should be three trying to create a pin over here. Now my knight is kind of misplaced on c2, to be honest. It doesn't prevent anything, so I think I should reroute this to f3. The pin is still there, so he can't take on d4. So I think it's a good idea to get the knight back to f3, maybe to e5 next. So for now, let's keep going like this. Redeploy the pieces. I'm still up on time, which is pretty good to see. Um... Okay, what is his plan? He, I think he wants to push, yeah? If he pushes, then I can just take and play 95 maybe? Should I take this? I think I like to play against the hanging pawns like that. Maybe not. So take takes here. A6. Uh, still don't like that. This knight is kind of misplaced here now. Maybe I should reroute this knight as well. Let's go knight b1. So the idea is to reroute my knight and also open up the rooks to the open plan. And it also prevents c4. Goes knight e4. Let's play, Let's play here. Still holding things together, nothing nothing special in the position. I'm trying to take maybe to trade the bishops. Let's take. Take and I try to take the bishop here. Now these pawns look a little bit weak. Maybe I can attack them. Maybe knight bd2 here. Maybe knight fd2 actually. But knight fd2 just backs. Let's go knight bd2 here. Kind of blocks my rook though. Maybe I should not have done that.
Let's go maybe knight f1. Queen b2 coming next. Trying to fix these pawns somehow. Knight is really misplaced on f1. I don't find good places for my knights. They're kind of blocking my own pieces. Knight on f1. The good thing about knight on f1 is that it at least doesn't block any of my pieces. He's also going a little bit low on time. So maybe I have some chances to win this game. Let's try to focus. This is mine. Let's go. Let's go. D4. Can I just take... Wait, can I take with a knight? I'm going to take with a pawn. I don't know. You might take with a bishop. Okay, I, I saw that coming. Now, the thing is that if I take with a queen, then there's knight b4, which is kind of annoying. Um, but if I take with a bishop, knight here, queen e8. He has this and king g2. Maybe knight h4 trying to disrupt my pawn structure. Yeah, maybe he's going to go knight h4. Yeah, I saw that. Should I go king here, though? And the king is going to come to h4, which is kind of sketchy. I'm going to take and play knight e3. Let's see. I, I can't attack these pawns, I think. My pawn structure is a little better on the queen's side. And he's got no time, which is pretty good to see. Let's take. I got, like, double stacks in, in both files, which is not so good to see. Let's go here, maybe rook c1, put some more pressure here. Now I think I can... I think I can take and take. He's a little bit better here though. My pawn structure is not good. How can I, how can I stop him from winning? Maybe knight b5. Knight b5 there's rook f2. Let's go here. Trade the rooks. Let's play f3 maybe, consolidate my structure. It's a hard position to hold though, with time scramble, unfortunately. Let's go here, maybe king, king g3 if it gives a check. Let's try to move faster, 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 faster. Um, he attacks my pawn, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's go here. Mm-hmm. Let's play rook a2 maybe. King back. Let's go here. Here maybe. Okay. Don't see any discoveries which are dangerous. Let's go knight c4, knight d6 maybe. Don't know what's going on over here. Check. Let's take. Check. Come on, come on. We got this. Here. Check. Here, king g5. Holy smokes. Check. Check. Here. Push. Here. Push. Push. Check. What am I doing here? King up. Get him out of here! Let's go! Let's go! We get the dub! Two out of two! That's a nice one! That's a nice one! We get the dub! Get the big dub here against the GM! Let's go! I was defending that endgame, but he just blundered his piece like in time scramble. I managed to win the game! Two out of two! Let's go! We got some, some energy over here. That's a good start to Title Tuesday. I never went two out of two in Title Tuesday. That's the first time. So we get the big W here. Thanks so much, Xdavid, for the for the follow. Nakonex, I don't think I'm gonna face Nakon. 